Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 22 tutorial. Today we are talking about production chains. So I'll sort of go through the menus and cover the basics that apply to all production chains and then I'll actually go through the wool fabric clothes uh, production chain and show all of that um, on video just so you can see one full uh, chain and how that works. So first of all what is a production chain? It is taking a raw ingredient and processing it into something that is worth more money. So if we go to the price menu here, for example, if I want to sell grapes, I could sell them for a couple thousand per thousand units of grapes. Or I can turn the grapes into raisins and sell them for about twice as much, maybe two and a half times as much over here. Or I can take those raisins and put them into cereal and along with some other ingredients and sell those for even more. So how do you figure out what production chains there are? I think the easiest way is to go into the shop and go into the construction menu. So you can go here, construction, and then go to production. And factories are where you will process everything and then selling points is where you can sell everything, of course. Greenhouses here will produce these three items, and I'll have a separate video uh, for those, but basically you just give them water and uh, activate some things. Here's your orchards. Um, so factories, you just kind of scroll through and see what's available. So biogas plant, you input these things. Um, for example, this is silage, and then it outputs these things. For example, this is digestate. Um, if we go to the bakery, we can input all of this stuff and output this stuff. And you can just go down and see what's available for production. Now, once you figure out if you want to produce something, you have to own the building. So you can either buy the building. So for example, let's say I want the grape processing um, building and that'll turn grapes into either raisins or grape juice. I can just buy the building for 80,000 and plop it on land that you own. So you'll have to go into the map menu and buy land if you can't fit, or you can just find the grape processing unit on the map, which I have found here and then, and am already in front of. And then you don't have to own the land, you can just buy the building, and the building's going to be the same price. So it's still going to be 80000 and it saves you from needing to own the land. So the advantage is you don't have to buy land. The disadvantage is you can't kind of put your factories close together, which is just sort of nice, and I'll show you that later when I go through the wool uh, process uh, production chain. So you go up to the wrench here at your factory, and hit R, and you'll buy it. And there we go, now I can process grapes. So then if I go back to this, I can manage it and you'll see grape processing unit. So these are all the buildings I own. Or you can just go to your menu, uh, your regular menu, and you'll see this icon here and that's your factory icon. So if you look at the map, you'll see these icons everywhere. That means it is a factory of some sort. So there you can produce your oils uh, like from canola or olive. And then the down arrow are your selling points. So those are sort of the icons that'll help you out. So you go into here and they're automatically activated when you buy them. So right now, if I gave this thing grapes, it would automatically start producing raisins and grape juice. And then once there is a full palette, it would just put a full palette here in this zone. And again, this is true for all factories. Uh, I'm just showing one of them. If I only want raisins or I only want grape juice, then I can deactivate. So I'll go ahead and deactivate grape juice. Now, if I would put raisins in here, or sorry, grapes in here in the incoming, then the only thing it's going to produce are raisins in the outgoing, because I have uh, I only have this one activated. So then, of course, when you have a full palette, you will um, get, get that here. So for things like greenhouses, where you can grow three different types of crop, uh, you can kind of decide if you want to grow three crops sort of a, at, at a third the rate each, 
or if you want to just dedicate a greenhouse per crop and they'll of course yield uh, more quicker. So that is um, buying factories. Uh, when you take things to factories, you'll just put them here and it'll automatically go in as long as you own it. So now that we kind of see how to deal with them and how to find which production chains go into which, um, oh, before I go on too far, some things will have really complicated recipes. So for example, I mentioned cereal earlier. Um, that'll take raisins, but not just raisins. You also have to give it honey, oats, and corn before it's going to output. So uh, you will have to kind of look at the recipes once you buy the shop. So now that we kind of know the basics, let's actually go through a chain so I can show you um, kind of hauling stuff back and forth. So if I go here to my sheep, I'm going to walk through the production chain that starts with wool. And then um, I'll kind of show you how I found this. So I'm going to hit shift P to go into construction. And I went to factories and I just sort of explored and I saw that there was one that turned wool into something. So I'm at the end here, there at the spinnery. And I saw, oh, there's the wool icon and that's my input. And that's going to output this symbol, which is fabric. And then I kept kind of looking around and I noticed there was another one, the tailor shop, that took the fabric in and output clothing. And if you look at the price chart, you can see wool is a couple thousand per thousand, so for a full pallet. If I turn that into fabric, then that goes up considerably. But then if I turn those into clothes, that goes up considerably. Now do keep in mind, this isn't one-to-one. -one. So if we look at the spinnery, fabric wool, it takes 60 wool to get half as much fabric. So a thousand, so a full pallet of wool, a thousand, is going to give you half a pallet of fabric. And then even more than that, it'll take another half to get clothing. Uh, clothing. So a full pallet of fabric will give you half a pallet of clothes. So it's not a one, it's not like a full pallet of wool uh, translates directly into a full pallet of clothing, as you can see. Uh, but that's sort of how I discovered the production chain. And so to do so, you will need a front loader to transport all of your pallets except eggs. Eggs are light enough you can just pick them up, pick them up by hand. Uh, so to get a front loader, you there's several options. You can go to here and get a dedicated front loader, wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer. All these work the same. I, I'm going to be showing you a forklift. Or some tractors, if you look at the tips up here, will say this tractor can also attach a front loader. So you can do that. And then you can go into tools, buy a front loader, attach it to your tractor, go to front loader tools, buy the pallet, uh, and hook it all up. So kind of a ton of options. I'll show you two of them uh, right now. So here is just the simple, uh, I don't even remember what they call it now, but uh, this is just one machine. You don't have to worry about connecting any pallet forks or anything. And you pick up your full thousand liters of wool, as you can see in the bottom right. Now, one thing I really like about this game is they have this pallet wagon. Uh, so you can just put your pallets in here. And I was able to fit three of them in there. And then you can close the door with um, X and keep them safe so they won't fall out or anything. So that's kind of cool. But for just one pallet, I think it's easier just to put it in the truck, the bed of the truck. You could also just drive it with this machine all the way to your uh, selling point. It's sort of up to you. But either way, just move the pallet to your factory. So I'm going to place this back here. Yeah, sometimes I get stuck. So I said it's easier. Sometimes it's uh, it does that. Well, by sometimes I mean twice on video and never not on video. So then I can go over here. I can fasten the tension belt and lock it in. And now we just have to find the spinnery and I've already bought it and I've already loaded up some fabric and clothing just for the video. So the spinnery was here. That was already on the map. So I just had to go buy it. 
And then I couldn't find a tailor shop. Like there might be one around. I just could not find it. So this one actually bought the land, as we can see in farmland. I just bought it. And then I was able to go into construction and just plop down a tailor shop so that they were next to each other. So now we just have to drive the wool to the uh, spinnery. So I'm going to skip ahead until we're there. Okay, so here's the spinnery right there. And you don't have to unload it, which is kind of nice. All you have to do is drive into this icon and it'll just slowly uh, take it. And then if I were to look in the spinnery, you will notice that I have just given it a thousand wool. Now it's going to go through two cycles per hour and that is in game time. So um, one cycle will be 60 wool into cloth or sorry, into fabric, and then a second cycle will do it again. So every hour I'm going to get 60 fabric. And the nice thing is that it does count when you're sleeping. So if I sleep for 10 hours, I'll wake up and have 300 uh, fabric as long as I have given it the wool. And it'll cost $5 per. So you have to, you have to pay a little bit for production, but um, obviously you're going to make more just by doing it. So let's pretend we've given it a ton of time and voila, there is our fabric. And again, it's going to be a full thousand liter pallet. So here's a tractor that I've attached a front loader and pallet fork to. I find that to be the easiest and most versatile way. So I'll just pick it up. And since I put this uh, tailor right next door, I can just drive this over without having to deal with like a, a middle vehicle and again i'll just drive it right into this icon and it'll do the exact same thing and if we check it we now have a thousand fabric and this only does one cycle per hour and it costs quite a bit more so every 10 hours i'll get half a pallet basically um, 11 hours i guess so um and then if we look, we should have, because again, I've kind of preloaded this. Um, we have a full pallet of clothes there. So we can do the same thing. I'm actually going to skip ahead uh, so you don't have to watch me load another pallet. All right. So you see here we have our pallet of clothes back here. And in the pricing menu, if we go to clothes, then we only have one option. And that is 24,000 per thousand. So we'll basically just, yeah, we'll get this amount for this one pallet. So we go to grocery mart here and around back again. You just got to drive through and we'll see our money going up. And there is our final sale. Um, so that, sh that really covers all production chains. They all work about the same. Um, some are just more intricate. Some only have one step. Some like this one have two. And again, the easiest way to discover them is just going through the construction menu and seeing what goes in and what goes out of each one. So that is production chains. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. Please leave a like, subscribe, or comment below if you have any questions. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.